welcome to my channel so today i'm going to show you how i make the most moisturizing and healing cream for your eczema psoriasis uh, dryness of the skin so here i've got some jojoba oil sweet almond oil avocado oil yeah i get a liter of it because i use it a lot i've got palm kernel oil shea butter and coconut oil in the bowl and here i've got palm oil red palm oil some call it and some glycerin and a clean container in here i've got in that jar i've got some cocoa butter that i've set in in bemarine to soften up so into that i'm going to add the coconut oil palm kernel oil and the shea butter i showed you earlier you don't really need to add the palm oil in here because it's not it does not harden like uh, shea butter or like uh, cocoa butter it's quite soft already but i just mixed it in this video for you to see how i usually do it so i'm just trying to break this down if the water is hot it can all soften up in three to five minutes really but i set i set the cocoa butter in there because it's harder than the rest so that's why i put it in um, bemarine first it was sitting there maybe two to three minutes before i added the rest because cocoa butter usually takes quite a bit of time it can take what like 10 minutes to soften up so just breaking it You're welcome. and You're welcome. uh I've reached the consistency I wanted. Now I'm adding two spoonful. I can just eyeball this because I usually do it. So two spoon of cocoa of avocado oil, a spoonful of uh, sweet almond oil, and a spoonful of um, jojoba oil here i'm adding a lot of sweet almond i think i reached the two spoonful only because i love it so you can any oil that you prefer you can use a lot more of that so if you prefer avocado oil put to use three spoonful you'll still be okay for this so here i'm just adding a spoon a spoon of jojoba oil this oil is beautiful for your skin and hair actually this cream you can actually use it for your hair as well because everything that's going in this is um, really good for the hair too and then i'm gonna add um, just a little bit of glycerin to attract the, mo the moisture so here we go i'm gonna add the butters and the oil i mixed earlier add it into the bowl to mix so i'm gonna pour all of it in there and scrape it make sure you don't waste any there's no need because these butters a little really goes a long way so you don't need to mix to waste any so scrape it as um, as much as you can really to get everything in there so that's what i'm using here that's what i'm doing just scraping it as much as I can so that I can get uh, all of the mixed out and into the bowl to be mixed so the the red palm oil looks uh, a lot yellow here or a bit orangey but it's actually fine it's uh, it did not it does not stain our clothes or anything we use this butter for uh, as a moisturizer in in my house for me and my kids so it's uh, it does not stain your clothes it doesn't but you can use less uh, red palm oil if you want to but it's really good because of the benefit it contains it's uh, it's really really a very good oil for your skin so get everything out we don't like to waste so in with the mixture and start with uh, the mixer so start mixing it 
slowly and make sure maybe you the area you're working at is covered or you're not wearing something white because this can go on your clothes or stain uh, things so just mix it keep mixing it here i was mixing like for a minute then pour it back into the jar because as you can see the bowl was quite white and there was not much pro uh, product here this is uh this mixture came up to like 500 uh milliliters so the bowl is quite uh, large for it so it was going everywhere and can stain things so i decided to pour it back into the jug i was using before to mix it in there just so that i get the the fluffiness so here we go into the jar we go into the jar i'm going to pour it all in and just a bit for another three minutes i don't usually beat it a lot as long as i get the fluffiness the consistency that i i want because mind you the cream is going to sit and it's going to thicken up a, a little bit so don't think it's too runny it's not just beat it for another three minutes it should be good and if you're doing this right after you finish mixing your product wash everything right away don't leave it laying because you stain things it will get um everywhere so here i'm adding some vitamin e so the pure vitamin e i don't really use the oils i use the, i prefer the pure vitamin e and because I use it for the kids, I want them to smell good. So I'm using baby powder scent here. I put uh, like 10 drops, which was uh, quite good and very soft smelling anyway. And here a bit of tea tree because it contains antiseptics. So it's good for psoriasis and eczema. So that's what I added in there. And I'm just going to mix it. You might use the electric mixer. If you want but for me i reached the desired consistency it's looking really good really really nice and uh yeah at this point i'm just mixing it to pour it into the container and uh, you can use this cream on your hair as well as you can see very nice very moisturizing it's uh, so silky and fluffy i love the consistency of this cream so i just poured all of it um, into the the container and the rest you can put it into a little jar that you have because i still had a little bit left in the jar there i don't want to fill it up to the top so this is it this cream was really really good very moisturizing very soft and melting into your skin so just make sure everything is clean wipe it wipe with um alcohol there you go our cream is done look at that that's really nice really really nice so that's it i'm done with it i'm just going to clean up wash these things put them away but before I go, I'm just going to show you how it goes on your skin, how soft it is. It just melts into your skin. Look at that. It just gives you a very nice sheen. It's not oily. It's not too oily. It's uh, really nice and beautiful for, for you. So thank you for watching. Bye.